right, welcome to A Run Supreme. I am Mark Krejci, and this is a video podcast or diary, if you will, of my journey in exploring what it takes to be an ultramarathon runner. I am just sort of hacking at it and to see if I can do it. And today is exactly 100 days away from my race. On uh, Today is January 21st, and on May 1st is the race I am training for. If you go back to uh, the goals episode, I'll link to in this post, um, I said that my goal was to run an ultra marathon before I turn 30. So I turned 30 in the beginning of June, and I had a few requirements for the race that I picked. Um, one, initially it was, you know, the sky's the limit. But uh, as of today also, it's another big day, uh, my wife is full term uh, in her pregnancy. So we have a baby coming any moment now so one of the things in picking a race for me was it had to be close to home so I wasn't stranding uh, leaving her abandoned and having to fly somewhere to do a race because uh, she you know, can't come along uh, that soon after the baby uh, maybe we could but uh, it was just easier this way so there happened to be a 40 mile race in War Trace Tennessee which is about an hour south of Nashville um, there's a little town called Shelbyville they say Shelbyville here, not Shelbyville. Uh, or or all the Yankees, everybody looking up, you can look up Shelbyville. And the race is called the Strolling Gym. It's a 40-mile race, and uh, I'll link to the website here on the post uh, at arunsupreme.com. Um, but it looks to be a really low-key race. It's sort of a, a figure-eight type route, which is nice. It looks like I'm going to have some family members coming up. Um, but yeah, exactly 100 days from today is the race. So I feel good. Things are feeling great. Still, um, doing minimalist running, you know, running in, uh, it's been winter. So I've been wearing the Vibram five fingers a lot, um, and playing with a couple other different types of footwear as well. But, uh, right now my weekly mileage, um, as of today is at about 30 miles a week. And I've tried to stick pretty close to the rule of thumb where they say don't increase your weekly more than 10%. And so that keeps me on path, whereas I think it's the second week in April is my longest distance uh, week. And that week will be 60 miles. I'll have a 60 mile week the second week of uh, April. And on my long run will be a marathon, 26 miles. Um, but it'll be 60 miles overall. So I don't know what's typical um, from the stuff I did research on. That's what uh, I was able to find. Um, but I wanted to be sure I was sticking to, you know, not increasing it faster than um, I should. But um, there's there's also the Country Music Marathon and Half Marathon, which is exactly one week before my race. And while... I could run it. Uh, I don't think I will. I won't run the full marathon for sure, just because I'm tapering after the second week in April. Um, I may run the half, but I'm not quite sure. I hadn't really committed to that yet. Um, honestly, with the price of registration fees and whatever, uh, ultras just are extremely attractive versus the price of you know, paying to go to a full-on marathon or half marathon where they get 40,000 people or so showing up it's just expensive 100 100 plus dollars a pop whereas some ultras I've seen are charging like 30 bucks or something to run I like that idea uh, anyway I'm feeling good though injury free um, increasing mileage looking forward to the weather continuing to warm up but uh, 100 days left is a momentous one so I thought I'd just do a quick video and share my progress and um, just say thank you to you guys for uh, all of your help and assistance along the way. Uh, whether you're following me on the blog um, directly at arunsupreme.com, which, by the way, I have been um, sort of conjuring up my inner code monkey and have a new website. So I'll post this episode on the old one, uh, but pretty soon I'll be launching a brand new website, which you'll see. Uh, very soon. I will, I'll be sure to let you know about it. It's very cool, very easy, much easier way to navigate some of the videos and stuff. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Anyway, so running's going well. Um, sticking with it. I appreciate everybody on Daily Mile, uh, wonderful site. I'll do a profile uh, here later. 
uh, and on Twitter and everybody else who's sort of supporting me. Uh, this has been fun. I'm having a great time. You know, when you sort of get the lifestyle of running almost every day, it's just sort of nice and you miss it when you can't do it. So ho- fortunately, I'm not there. Um, but anyway, thanks for you guys' uh, support and 100 days left. Maybe I'll put a, a countdown somewhere on the site and you guys can follow along. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.